What's up guys, it's Juan Zuniga, and today I'm going to bring you another collection video. You guys have been asking for this one. You want to see my watch collection. So I brought every single watch that I use on a regular basis. Um, and let me tell you guys, I range from very inexpensive watches to, you know, very expensive watches. Um, I wish I could have some other watches like a Nautilus right now or a Audemars Piguet, but I don't have that right now, And uh, but will hopefully in the near future. Um, but I'm going to show you everything that I have, everything that I've you know gotten throughout the years, and I'll tell you how much they are and um, maybe tell you why I got them or whatever. So let's get into it. But first, before we continue, I want to talk to you guys about our sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped is giving a great deal right now where you get 20% off plus free shipping, and you get a nifty little gift. Uh, we have a bag of nifty gifties for you like this this little top kit you can put everything that you want in there great thing about manscape is that you get amazing stuff like the lawnmower 2.0 one of my favorite little things to use this thing is amazing for your guys down there you can shave it you can clean it up and trim it down do little designs if that's you know if you're into that that's cool but you can do it with this little one also you got the the plow which is basically a razor if you want to shave down there you want something small compact and that's maneuverable the plow is the one for you you can also get the crop cleanser crop cleanser is amazing to clean your guys down there and also the crop preserver the crop cleanser you're going to clean it down there the crop preserver is going to deodorize it and moisturize it after each say shave or whenever you trim on top of that you got the crop reviver now this one is used whenever you know you go out throughout your day you feeling a little you know stinky down there you can spritz it down there a little bit and it's going to smell better it's going to neutralize it it's going to remove any orders and you're good to go it's definitely a must and something you carry around in your car or in your dab kit when you travel wherever you're at i would carry this just just in case you never know when you can get you know a little sweaty down there a little stinky and you need a, a little reviver so check out manscape guys i'll have the link down below so you guys can check them out i'm telling you their stuff is amazing totally worth it totally worth the money and plus with a 20 percent discount code the free shipping and the nifty little gift it's totally worth to try out so check out manscape guys the link down below now let's get to our video there's no specific order to this i'm just just gonna go through the list that I have here. Um, tell you maybe why I got it. If there's a special reason why I got it, if there's no special reason, maybe I just got it because I wanted to. I'm not gonna give any description, um, but I'll tell you the watch where I got it from and price. So the first one here is the Undone Watch. Um, I love this watch because this was one of the first watches we got, one of the first watch companies that actually reached out to us to um, do a sponsors with us. Um, you can customize it completely. You can get these for around 500 bucks. Never getting rid of this watch. It actually has my signature in the back as well, as you can see right there. Um, love this watch. It's, it's a little big for my wrist, but I still use it. I think it looks cool. You can interchange uh, bands if you want to and it looks amazing it looks and it's I, I use it a lot to go on trips and vacation because it's a great I wouldn't say beater watch but it's something that I know I can go in the water and not ruin it and but it still does have a special you know feeling in my heart um, it is fully automatic in the back and like I said it's a clear case back with my signature so it's a special watch out there um, the next watch that I have is a all black RGB watch I love this watch because it's all black and if I want something simple that is all black you know it's not so flashy I think this is a great watch to have this one runs for around 75 bucks next watch is an E1 watch um, this is the E1 timepiece right here um, it's called the Bradley. Um, basically, this watch is pretty cool. I thought you get them for around 300 bucks. And the cool thing about this watch is it was made for people that were blind. But I love the design because the, with the little bead, you can touch what time it is and figure out the time. Um, got this as a present. My wife knows how much I love watches, so I got this as a present from her um, for our first year anniversary. And, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool different um, compared to other watches and it is a conversation story a lot of people were going to ask you like what's that watch and you can tell them the story what it is and, and all that um, the next watch of course is a Vincero watch I love their watches because they they look more expensive than they actually are and a lot of people always ask where did you get it how much was it and when I tell them the pr they're only like 200 bucks they get very surprised um, and yeah, I think they, they look pretty cool. They look very clean, you know, very, very clean. I uh, love their design and they feel good. Um, the next watch here is the Movement. Um, this one runs for around 200 bucks, 300 bucks, I think as well. Um, the reason that I like this watch is because 
it's very simple. It gives you, I think, I wouldn't say they try to copy uh, uh, a Nautilus. It's more like a homage to it. Um, and it looks pretty cool. And it actually looks very good on my wrist. It's very simple. There's nothing, there's not a lot going on. It's just, it has a date complication. And then you just got the hours hand and the minutes hand. And then it just has the, that Nautilus feel to it. This is the second generation Apple Watch. I have this one. This one is the one that comes with GPS and you can take a call. You can forget your phone um, at home and you can still get a call. I think it's pretty cool, especially if you really don't, you know, you go out for a run and um, you can get this one for around 500 bucks, I think. It was um, you can go out for a run, um, if leave your phone behind. You can just put your headphones to it and listen to music. You don't have to worry about carrying such a, something that big. And if you ever have an emergency, you always have something to communicate with. And I think that's why I like it so much. And I also have the first generation Apple Watch. Um, I really don't know why I still have it, but I still have it and I still use it. I think it's a pretty cool watch. So you can get it for uh, 400, 500 bucks, whatever. Um, the next watch that I have is from Linger. Linger, this one right here is very simple. It's very minimalistic. Um, it looks great. Uh, if you change the, this band, I mean, this band is a little bit more casual, but if you put a little bit something more dressier, you can definitely use this watch as a dress watch. These go for around 250 bucks, 300 bucks. No branding, um, nothing on the face that says the brand, and I think that's something that I like about it. Um, it's very clean, very minimal, very simplistic. Um, the next watch is another Undone Watches, and um, is this one right here. Now, the reason that I like Undone Watches is because you can actually customize them to whatever it is you want want to do these run for around 300 bucks as well and um, this is like their vintage edition if you can see the face is very vintage is very um classic and and it even has that yellow tint to the and there's other ones that actually look more vintage even though they're not and i think that looks pretty cool um you know it has the uh, chronograph on it has a day complication hours minutes seconds etc um i love them i love the fact that you can customize them and make them your own like i said my first this first watch has my signature in the back which i thought was pretty cool that i could add that to it and you can add your own logos you can add your own stuff to it um totally worth it for the price um, if you want a custom watch something that's different and nobody else has so totally worth it um of course here i also have a timex weekender this is your best bank for your buck you can get these for around 30 bucks if you get our basic one and can go up to like 60 bucks with chronograph and all that um this one has no time no date it just has your time and the cool thing about it and if you press this the crown it um it actually lights up it's too light in here but it actually lights up so you can see the time at night i have it with a nato strap i think it looks clean it looks cool it looks simplistic you can change nato straps and it will change the look of the watch completely um the next watch that i have and the one that i've been i haven't been using a lot lately um is my panerai uh white face this is a 41 millimeter um the reason that i got it is because it's i love the panerai look um but the 42s 44s were too big for me and i think the 41 was just perfect um this one just comes with a day complication seconds and time this one runs for around four thousand dollars um i did get when i first got it, i got it used and it came with the leather strap but i did change it and i put this rubber strap from panerai and these straps run run for around 300 bucks um the next watch that i have here and you guys have seen this watch a lot it was a gift from my wife is the um, omega speed Master. Um, this is the moon watch, you know, um, has a lot of Omega has a lot of history and heritage. This one runs for around four thousand dollars as well. Um, this is another staple to your collection. If if you're you're a watch guy and you have a collection, you definitely definitely need Omega Speedmaster. If you don't have one, your collection's not complete. Doesn't matter if you have hundred thousands of dollars of watches, you don't have one, your collection's not complete. Um, but yeah, the Omega Speedmaster, beautiful watch. This is the moon watch has so much history, so much you know heritage to it just because it was basically the first watch that went to the moon um this is a mechanical watch it's not automatic so every morning i would wind it or you have to wind it love this watch um thanks babe um the next watch that i got was the rolex they just um this is a beautiful one that has the uh white gold bezel on it this one runs for around 10 grand um blue dial white gold bezel um oyster band um, this watch is amazing. I got this one right after we did our first giveaway for the pro members. Um, we gave away a Rolex Datejust Blue Dial, and I literally fell in love with it. So I went out and got myself one, and um, I love it. 
one of my favorite watches. It goes with everything that I wear casual. You can dress it up a bit and it still looks good. Um, I have been using this one a lot lately. Um, definitely one of my favorites in the collection as well. And finally, my final acquisition, the final watch that I got was the uh, Rolex uh, they date all gold. Um, this one's the uh, 36 millimeters. I wanted the classic they date, you know, that that was out there. And it's 36 millimeters. This one runs for around 30 grand. You can get the 41 millimeters, um, which I think they look good. But I wanted something classic. I wanted something. Um, I wanted to keep the they date heritage, which was always 36 millimeters. So that's why I went with the 36 millimeters champagne dial. Um, I didn't get the Roman numerals. I just got the regular one. And um, yeah, it looks amazing. I love it. Um, love the bracelet. Like I said, this is the presidential bracelet. And I think it just dresses everything up really, really nicely. Um, yeah, and the heft to it is amazing. I got this one for my twins. Um, I knew I was getting twin boys. Um, and it was just something to commemorate twin boys. Gold, all gold. I think it's pretty cool. So... Yeah, pretty cool watch. Um, so yeah, that's basically my collection. I have a few watches here. Um, I think the most expensive ones are the ones at the end, the, the last four watches that I talked about. But I, like I said, I use watches from every side of the spectrum. Oh, never mind. I have one more watch. Um, this one right here, um, very special watch to me. Um, it's just a simple Casio. Um, I don't even know what it's called pay 25 bucks for it but like i am a watch guy and i always need to have a watch on me doesn't matter where i'm at where i go i always have a watch on me and um yeah i needed a watch when i went to emt school and fire school and um this one was hefty enough for me to use and um sweat in and bang up and not worry about it but um yeah, special one just because of everything that I went through, the time I spent during EMT school and fire school. So yeah, pay 30 bucks, very special. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it just knowing that um, I went through it and it has a lot of like sweat stains on it. Um, so yeah, this is basically my collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my, col my watch collection. Uh, it's nothing impressive like I've seen other people have, but you know, I like different watches just for different reasons and um i think i have a pretty solid collection so let me know what you think guys leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys next time